Spartans! Moving to the engine now, we have our focus on racing, is known as a K400. So it's a 2.5 litre, starts life as a K24 and block is sleeved on board to get the extra capacity. Um, it's high compression, titanium rods, titanium valves, obviously, for what we're doing. Paired with, we have a custom engine from Hayward Performance, built for our setup, curved individual throttle bodies to fit under the bonnet, and we have a custom header as well. The engine runs on BP Racing X85L, and it's controlled by Haltech Nexus R5, tuned by TechPoint Tuning. We were able to make 325 horsepower on the wheels, which is a lot for something any. No turbo or anything like that, it's just engineering and kind of getting things to work. Made a airbox, like a plenum basically, so it has a consistent plenum volume for the ITVs to pull to get maximum torque and run into it with ourselves. Coming to the cooling side of things, we have a crossbow radiator, a swirl pot setup, drive train is a SADEV 6 speed sequential gearbox. What they actually use in wheel touring car. You buy the unit and then they make a billet bell housing and adapter to adapt it to whichever engine. So most of the cars in wheel touring car or TCR would use this gearbox and then they just adapt it to the different chassis. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just the normal swap stuff made by off the shelf to fit the engine in the car. And obviously, the car creates a lot of grip and a lot of G's when you're cornering. So, the standard wet up oiling cannot sustain that. You would have oil pressure drop like crazy. So, this runs our daily engineering dry sum system. The oil tank is in the car. If you look down here, you see the billet oil pan, billet oil pump, and there's lines running to it. It's scavenge oil, feed the engine, and then it scavenges. There's an air oil separator, so if you notice, the engine has no breeders in there, it's actually sealed. So it creates a vacuum, it vacuums out all the oil and crankless pressure and stuff out the sump. And there's an air oil separator, so one is an oil return and one is the air. It goes back into the tank and then you breathe the tank to the, to the air cap. Now the interior are pretty bare bones, obviously, for what we're doing, we're trying to keep weight down and stuff. As I was talking about aero and again, car balance, the driver will actually move to the back seat. You see the back seat would be here, and it basically right up against the arm. The back seat move the driver as far back as possible to accommodate the floor mount the pedals, and also the car runs manual steering rack, so we have electronic power steering to help just with the driver stuff, because you can imagine 300 horsepower in a car this week it weighs like basically 1900 pounds dry so here's a hand so we need power steering we have the AEM CB7 dash show us all the vitals and stuff so this is the race display water temp, oil pressure, battery voltage, air fuel, RPM and then I can go to a second display Zoos.